Welcome to Risk Easy, where risk management is made easy. In today's video, we're going to take a quick look at the risk assessments module to see how that works. So the first thing I want to show you is here in my risk analysis menu, I have a risk matrix. Now, any good risk assessment needs a risk matrix, and this is a very simple one that we have outlined for you. Uh, I say simple, but it's a standard one that you can get anywhere. Uh, and the beauty of this one is it's all customizable. If you don't like the colors or the levels of risk or the probabilities or the consequences, you can change all that. So under classes, you can go and change the class. Under the probabilities, you can change all of these and the same for the consequences. So it's completely customizable, but any good risk assessment needs a risk matrix. So with that in mind, let's go over to the risk assessments. Now we have a list of ones that I've created before, but for today, I just want to add a new one. So uh, you can see the public list and the master list for your organization, but we want to add a new one today. So let's do that now. Here you go, very simple. We have decided to just go with making it as easy as possible. So we treat each separate risk with its own assessment. So first you've got to give it a title. Let's say it's going to be a cyclone. That's going to happen sooner or later in North Queensland. Give it a tag like storm, damage, insurance, whatever tags will be helpful for you for searching it later. Uh, if you want, you can add notes and if you can mark it as a safe work practice once it's been reviewed by your risk manager. Uh, in actually putting in the risk uh, itself, you just add rows here and you can see on this side, we've got without control measures, what's the likelihood and probability of this risk happening? And then what's the same with control measures? So let's say one hazard is um, power lines will come down, causing danger. That's pretty likely in a cyclone, so we'll put it to likely. And the consequences could be catastrophic if somebody touches a power line. So we start with an extreme class risk. Now we apply some control measures. What do we do? Uh, we warn everyone to stay inside, stay away from power lines, and so on. And if everybody does what they're supposed to, and um, the control measure is properly implemented, the probability of someone being injured comes down to a possible or even an unlikely. But of course, the consequences would still be catastrophic. And there you go. Now you can just go ahead and add as many more rows with different risks attached to a cyclone event and save them. The whole idea, of course, is that over here, this is identifying the risk. Over here, you add a control measure, and if you implement them, the control measures mitigate the risk. That's it. That's all you have to do. So then you just submit that, send it off to be reviewed by your uh, risk manager, and once they've seen it, they can make it a safe practice. You can also then print it, look, duplicate it, share it, all the usual actions. But most importantly, you can now add it to any event because it'll just show up in the list. Whenever you search Cyclone, there it is. So if you're having an event and you know there's a cyclone warning, maybe add the cyclone risk assessment to it. That's it. That's a quick overview of risk assessments. And that is how RiskEasy makes risk assessments easy.